Hey, what's up guys? This is opening 030 and uh, this is basically going to be the Kong opening. I think just like the no Kong opening, the Kong opening was also, also meant to be a Kling opening perhaps due to that uh, typo error or a misinterpretation of a handwriting. So basically, um, let's run through the sequence. So you have the usual Stephenson uh, variation opening. And over here, instead of uh, actually picking up the Komoth move to F3 or the no Kong opening to G5, you actually play B4, which is uh, rated as minus three over here, but I think perfect play is probably minus two perhaps. So over here, um, this is the start of the Kong opening, and it's, I think, fairly common for uh, advanced players and above to actually try to make use of this opening because how difficult it is for black to actually respond to the mid-game, perhaps. Um, I think it does give a lower variation in the end games if both players know this book, because this book is actually fairly common. So it's quite predictable, I guess. Uh, it's very tempo-focused, um, so that's good for probably both sides in some sense. Um, it's a very difficult mid-game uh, for white, I think, as well. But uh, it also gives up an early disadvantage. So one of the popular sequences that would follow is actually black just wrapping around here. And white and black, that is a particular sequence. So... Usually white going to g5 is overly simplistic. Um, so most players, uh, or at least the advanced players that I'm aware of online, actually goes for f2. Trades off that cross crisscross action to d2, and then go for g5. Somehow this disc that is set up early actually results in a lot tougher variation and responses for black to actually play out. So usually that exchange is a cross back, a center block, and then taking off to the side and just grabbing the edges. So that's the typical exchange for that opening in extension of this sequence that has been highlighted. Um, it becomes very tricky for black actually to play out the mid game and the end game. So I would definitely recommend this opening for players playing white and specifically for advanced players and above perhaps. The follow up does uh, seem to be a little challenging for both sides. So it is a bit of a tight rope to walk a double-edged sword perhaps, if you will. So on that note, I think I'll just end off this video on the Kung opening. So that is one variation that you can consider playing. So it starts off with you making a B4 in response to the typical Stephenson opening. So thank you very much for watching this video. And yep, I hope you like this uh, video.